हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर भालशंकर छाया कुंडीराम न्यू आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज शेवग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द मॉर्फोलॉजी सो व्हाट इज द मॉर्फोलॉजी द स्टडी ऑफ ग्रॉस एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द प्लांट ऑर्गन और इट इज डिफाइंड एज द ब्रांच ऑफ बॉटनी dealing with the external features or characters or structures of plant or you can say that the study of form and structure of plant is called as a morphology okay so the gross external structures means what the gross external structures means the study of all the external characters which can see or we can observe by the naked eye okay so that are known as the external characters or features of the structures okay so that form and structure the study of that form and structure is known as the morphology there is one more science that is study of internal structure so the study of internal structure is known as the anatomy so external structure morphology and internal structure anatomy the external structures it may be the size shape of the whole plant like root stem leaf flower fruit and even seeds also studied under the morphology okay so there are the different shape size of the different type of the root stem leaf flower we will discuss in detail then the types of morphology there are two different types of morphology one that is the descriptive morphology and the second that is interpretative morphology so first of all descriptive morphology descriptive morphology means what the plant parts are described in botanical or morphological terms in detail okay so what is meant by botanical terms or morphological terms so all plant parts they are taken into consideration like root for example if we consider the root the root may be the tap root or it may be the adventitious root the stem there are the different types of the stem some may be the creeping some may be thin way or different types of the stem or we can say that the different types of the plant like the herb herb shrub tree under tree etc climber uh, etc then leaves the leaves may be the simple leaf they may be the compound leaf the compound leaf again it is of the different types of the leaves compound leaf under the flower the flower there may be the different types of the flowers they have the different shape it may be the trimerous tetrameres pentamerous or the flowers they have the different botanical terms we will discuss in morphology detail then fruits there may be the simple fruits there may be the compound fruits there may be the aggregate fruits so these are the different characters in the form of botanical terms they are studied in detail along with their modified organs also the modified organs means what for example if we consider the stem the normal stem it get modified into the different types okay that what type that are that types it may be the tuber it may be the uh, stolon it may be the offset you have already studied in 12th class okay so the, there are the different modified organs or it may be the rhizome so these are the different types stem tuber offset stolon rhizome bulb these are the different types for example in the rhizome it is in the ginger adrak okay bulb it is in onion so nephrolepis it is solon so different types of this these are the modified organs so these are also considered then sometime the leaves it may modified into scales or there may be the hairy structures trichomes or outgrowth they are present on the leaves if you observe at the leaf there are number of hairy structures are present sometimes the leaves or stem may modified into spines the pollens they show the different types of the ornamentations or different types on it so the study of vegetative as well as the reproductive character it is helpful to the taxonomist 
in the classification. That means the, at the time of classification, taxonomists consider all these botanical terms or all these descriptive morphology at the time of the classification of the plants. Then the second that is interpretative or comparative morphology. It, in, it involves the comparison between two or more plants for their parts. The comparison it is to find out what are the similarities and what are the differences between them. So this interpretative morphology or comparative morphology it has the great importance or great value in the field of plant identification, plant nomenclature and the classification of the plants. For example, if we get an unknown plant or if we find an unknown plant, so we firstly we have to identify it, then we have to name it. That is the nomenclature and the classify it. That means we have that means we have to place that plant at a proper place in a classification system. So for the taxonomical study. So this comparative morphology it is most important because it gives the comparison between or say, comparison that is similarities and differences between the different plants. Okay. So most of the natural system of classification. Natural system of classification means the system of classification in which the characters, natural characters are considered. So in most of the natural system of classification, the comparative morphology of vegetative and floral parts of the plants are taken into consideration. It also shows the hidden relationship between two or the more plants. Then the importance of morphology in plant identification. So this plant morphology it has identification in the number of sciences like plant identification, nomenclature, classification, plant breeding etc etc we will discuss one by one. So first of all the importance of plant morphology in plant identification. Okay, so this plant identification is most important for taxonomical studies, whether the unknown plant is similar to the known plant. Okay, so that is the comparison. I already told you comparison, similarities and the differences. So, the morphology it helps in plant identification as number one, the some important morphological characters. For number one, leaf venation. If we see, observe the uh, leaf venation, it may be the reticulate or it may be the parallel. Then presence or absence of stipules, the presence of stipules, stipules means these are the small outgrowth in the axil of the leaf. So stipules, if they present, then it may be stipulate, if they are absent, extipulate. Then simple or compound leaves. Some leaves may be simple or some may be Compounding. Okay. For example, a mango, mango tree, it has a simple leaf. Okay. But tamarind, chinsa or rose, they have a compound leaves. Okay. So, the types of inflorescence, there may be the racemos or there may be the cymos. So, these different characters, they help in identification of the plant. The second, flower structures as a number and structures of sepals and petals. How many sepals are present in that flower of that unknown plant? How many petals are present? Uh, whether they are sepals, petals or there may be the tepals. Tepals means they are the perianth. How many stamens are present? How many carpels? Which type of the carpels? Number and nature of the stamens. Nature and number of the carpels also. So all this they study under the plant identification or they are helpful under the for the plant and the identification. Then the next that is the nature of fruit. Okay. So which type so which type of nature of the fruits or seeds? Okay, so that are all these characters. They are studied under the structure, important morphological characters of the plant. Then the second point, the morphological character such as habit. Okay, habit, which type of habit? It may be the herb, it may be the shrub, it may be the under tree or it may be the tree. Then life forms, what are the anatomical characters? Such as the stomata, which type of stomata, 
what type of the epidermal outgrowth okay that means trichomes which type of trichomes or any other structure what, what type of the xylem and phloem what are the embryological characters such as pollen embryo seed characters etc so all these are most important for the plant identification the taxonomy it provides a standard key for identification of the plants which is the analytical device where the choice is provided between two contradictory statements so the resulting acceptance of one and the other rejection of other it will help in searching the relevance of unknown plant with the group or taxa okay so what is the meaning of it for example we find one unknown plant so we have to study all the morphological characters of that plant then there are some flora okay so that book flora they have the standard keys for the identification standard keys means what there are the certain statements in that book so if this character are present then this genus this characters are present this species okay so in this way the standard keys are present in the plant so compare the character of unknown plant with that statements okay so which are the contradictory statements they may be uh, rejected or which are the similar characters it may be accepted here yeah, this character is resembles with this plant that means this plant is belong to this genus or this species or it is related to this family etc so that is the standard keys which are provided for the identification of plant and that flora they are the analytical device which help to identify the plant the next character artificial keys of classification can be prepared with the help of comparative morphology and therefore morphology is most important tool for the identification so artificial keys means what just i have told you there are the number of characters morphological characters so compare that morphological character whether the leaves are simple or it may be compound if they are compound then it may be what type of this uh, compound so it is uh, studied under in by this way or the flowers which type of characters present in the flower so compare that characters under the comparative morphology and the artificial key is provided artificial key means it is the statements is you this plant it may contain this character or this character the leaves it may be the simple or it may be the compound then simple leaf is type then compound leaf is type so these are the artificial keys so it this artificial keys they are most important tool for the identification so i hope you got the points thank you very much